Hello everyone! My name is Bonitongzi and welcome back again to Genshin Impact in another wonderful episode. Where we left off, we have just seen what appears to be the Archon of Ice that has just struck us at the <sighs> cathedral and taken Venti's uh, Gnosis, which is apparently linked to his ability to use powers without needing those little glass baubles that you see tied to people's hips. But of course, I don't have one on my hip either. And later, we talked to the bartender and we got to pretty much um, ask about information on a certain dark knight that's been doing like these heroisms at nighttime and no one seems to know their identity. And in this episode, we're going to go around and ask uh, the bartenders at the Fountain Plaza for information. So let's see if we can get that. I'm hoping you're one of them. You want to find out about the Dark Knight hero? Okay, good, she is. And yes. Look no further. It's me. I am the Dark Knight hero. You're kidding, right? <laughs> You're right, I'm not. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. What's that? What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? <laughs> no. I just mean he must be seriously rich. Why is that? I mean, you don't have to be rich to do that. You can just know your way around the city and scrounge up whatever you can find to be able to help you in fights. Never know. People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. Like Batman. <laughs> it's the same in every hero story, isn't it? So you just wanted to flaunt your wealth? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. <clears throat> you are the boss of the cat's tail, after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head to the city Here gate and see if we can ask Monster. them. Monster, welcome uh... to you. Sure, let's ask you. Anything the knights can do for you? Uh, I'm trying to find out about the Dark Knight Hero. I haven't heard a thing. <sighs> I'm really out of the loop. Welcome to Mondstadt. Hey, how about you? You want to know about him? Yes. In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa! Slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was patrolling one night when suddenly I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. I saw a gang of suspicious-looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! Well, I mean, guards can sometimes hide around corners and such so that they can get intel of bad people are having conversations. That's not uncommon. That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Wow! Why does this sound like it's someone who's pretending to literally be 100% Batman? Guess what I did next? Run away? I wasn't the bad guy, why would I need to run away? Still, I did leave the scene. I didn't want to be a nuisance to the Dark Knight hero. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius's residence. <clears throat> hmm. 
Maybe you think the N Dark Knight hero might be one of the knights? Correct. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Favonius after all? Yes. <sighs> but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? Mm, maybe because they don't want to be tied down to having to do certain duties from other people? Because not everyone is the whole working with others. Some people are loners or they just don't want to be tied to a team that like you have to do jobs they tell you to do and not the stuff that you rather do. I mean, that's that's my opinion. I feel like that's maybe what this guy is going on about. I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. So, the point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time you rescued her. I remember the flower shop when I was taking Lisa on that little date. But she kind of pushed me into it. Oh, you're the one of the flower shop, right? Gosh! What's wrong with me? Why can't I get him out of my mind? What's wrong with me? Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on, how did you know who I was talking about? Is it that obvious? Hmm, kind of. Oh no, what am I going to do if Master D. Luke ever finds out? Huh? What's D. Luke got to do with this? Uh, well... I guess I might as well spill the beans then. Yeah. Okay. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight hero, I I just don't know anymore. Oh, she's one of those girls where she likes one guy, but someone else that risked their life to save her. Now she's conflicted between two people. Wow, Lee, you saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire. But I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so familiar. Could it be someone you know? Hmm. That I really do not know. Perhaps it was fate? You know, when you meet someone and it feels like, like you've known them your whole life. Okay then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. And who possibly uses fire magic. Hmm. Nope, still no idea. Because she said she saw a flash of fire. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at nighttime. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. Well, lucky for us, it looks like around us is already nighttime. It's getting dark. Let's stick around Monster. Gosh. Maybe if we're lucky, oh, we'll meet the Dark Knight hero. Come take a look. There will definitely be something that can All right, so it looks like we're going to see about if we can catch this Dark Knight hero in the act. Maybe even get to talk to them. Who knows? Maybe completing this, we might unlock the new character. 
I don't know. Whenever we get like these quests that's related to like certain characters, I hope that it's one that we can unlock. Oh! After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. I'll admit, when she brought up, like, D-Luke, I do remember that he was, like, of course, dressed in, like, all blackish, like, stuff, but they said he was dressed from head to toe. That normally means that, like, they must have wore something over their face or, like, maybe a hood or something. He has not nothing on his head. They could have said like that he had like red hair too and the flashing red fire kind of makes sense because he does use fire elements so yeah let's say i guess you're the dark knight hero dark knight hero sounds awfully derivative to me please tell me you didn't come up with that no how is this the first you've heard of the name every man in this dog and Monstad is yapping about the Dark Knight hero. I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Huzzah! The great mystery of the Dark Knight hero of Mondstadt! We solved it! Now then, Mr. Dark Knight hero. Please stop calling me that. Seriously? It makes me uncomfortable. Especially now that we know it's Diluc. Just call him Diluc. <laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest superhero name Paimon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. He just told us and asked us if we were the ones who came up with it. That is kind of showing that he didn't make that up himself either. Like... Um... Captain... Pie. Captain Pie. Pie. That's what I'm confused of. Pie. Captain Pyro. Captain Pyro. I'm about to pick up a pie and throw it at your face, Pie Mike. Cause that was the cheesiest name I've ever heard. Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? I don't think he's going to answer you calling him Captain Pyro. It was the Abyss Order. Oh, he answered. Them again? Well, we did just see one attacking uh, him just now. I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance. Considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions, their persistence is unusual. Well, I've seen him before when I first saw him attack one of the Abyss Order's mages, and he's plenty of times fought solo by himself, so I kind of know why he's fighting them alone, or at least I've known he's been dealing with them alone the whole time, but I also know why he doesn't ask the knights, because he's not one to be like tied to them, even though he's supposed to be the actual Grand Master, so he's kind of being a... Vigilante type deal, which makes sense. So, <laughs> who would be helping whom is debatable. The knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. I cannot trust them to take this matter over. Uh. So this is the job for the mighty D. Luke, then? <sighs> That's not my point. I'm not doing this to impress anyone. <clears throat> well, I mean, you're supposed to be the Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, yet you hate them so much that now you're doing all this by yourself. That kind of shows that you're trying to do... You're trying to send some message. 
Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. Okay, mister, I won't move my lips while I speak. Oh? What is it, Master Diluc? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. Uh, why are her trolls at the dock? <gasps> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent back up already? They appear to just be small timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Okay. I'm kind of worried about telling them anyway, because I feel like you'll hunt me down and kill me. Hey, you're just going to leave us like this? I mean, it's just a few hurlic trolls. Are they literally just throwing rocks? That one hit me, but that was called crappy. Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. Uh... Yeah, you did hear something. It was us fighting. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Nuh-uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch! Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case... The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Oh, uh, the Dark Knight hero is, uh, him! You, the hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows. On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. I don't think anyone's gonna fall for it when they've seen him dressed in black. I mean, this guy's for some reason falling for it, but... Paimon, I, I don't know how this, how long this is going to last. Uh, it's <clears throat> nothing. Really, you're too kind. I mean, I'm kind of dressed in black, but I have too much white and gold to really fit the description. Wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. Paimon, I'm going to slap you upside the head. Why would you lie to me about that? Uh, I mean, why do I have to say this stuff? She's the one who did it! Mm, never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. <sighs> Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Sure. Paimon, you Seems need like to. Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him. All right. And Paimon, you need to learn to keep your mouth shut. That's the one thing I'm agreeing that I don't like about Paimon that makes her one of the most annoying characters in this game is Paimon doesn't know when to shut it. <laughs> All right. Huffman. Oh, it's you two. Thank you for coming. I mean, you did ask me to. Why are you surprised? So, the Dark Knight hero. Do you have anything else you're able to share with me? Uh, can I 
ask what's going on? Ah, yes, of course I should fill you in first. Apologies for my appalling lapse of etiquette. The situation is... Mm. Here, take a look at this. Jeez, what horrible handwriting! Letter from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Blank, blank, blank has endured too long your self-proclaimed blank and hypocrisy. We hereby blank you. We shall blank, 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 march full on onto Mondstadt's front gate at blank, blank. If you wish to cling to your so-called justice, don't sit idly by blank, blank, blank. Step up and accept blank, blank. Otherwise, Mondstadt's blank, blank shall take the fall in your stead. I'm amazed you could decipher all of this, but you could not decipher the whole letter. Hmm. Let me take a closer look. Huh? Some parts of this seem to be complete gibberish. Hmm. <sighs> Indeed. Although this is written in the common tongue, it appears that a cipher has been used in many places. Nevertheless, one can grasp the general message from the non-ciphered portions alone. This is a war declaration from the Abyss Order to the Dark Knight Hero. Does that mean the bad guys want the Dark Knight Hero to go away forever and ever? <sighs> Something like that. Thus, we are hoping to contact him as soon as possible so that we can attempt to coordinate a response. After all, this matter no longer concerns merely the Dark Knight hero himself. It impacts the entire city of Mondstadt. I say thank you for the information. If you find out anything at all, come and find me. Well, we better tell D, Luke. A war declaration sent by the Abyss Order? Oh, this is not good news at all for Master D. Luke. Quick, we should go tell him right away. All right, we're gonna have to go to the winery to tell him. And we also get to see the inside of the winery for the first time too. And there's books. Mine. I'm taking these books. My book. I'll be with you in a second, D. Luke. I want all these books. Oh, there's empty space upstairs. There's a door, which I cannot open. Okay. What about this owl statue? It says I can do something. Oh, watcher of the night, forget not the splendor of the dawn. O oh, ye who contend with evildoers, sway not from the path of righteousness. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Master nice Diluc! Just now, we were at the Knights of Avonius, and... and... I take it you're about to inform me of the war declaration from the Abyss Order. How long did you know about this war declaration? And what was the point of me coming all the way here to tell you about it, if you already knew? I'm aware of it. Though I appreciate you for taking the trouble to come all this way. What? The Don Winery's intelligence network extends beyond commercial matters. Great! So, what's the plan, Master Diluc? I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, I say you really should join the forces of the with the Knights, because if you keep doing this whole vigilante thing, you're just gonna end up getting them more and more pissed off. You might as well just... Join forces with the knights, and just stick with them so that they don't think that they keep getting more ongoing threats one man. Because it seems they get really pissed off when one person causes them problems. No. That would be playing <clears throat> right into the hands of the Abyss Order. They know full well that we don't exactly see eye to eye. They're using this as a means to force me into making an appearance. If my identity were exposed, all my future activities would be subject to some degree of interference from the Knights. 
I mean, it's your own fault being that you're deciding that all of the knights are incompetent, so you're kind of degrading them and doing things by yourself instead of taking command like you should be. After all, no powerful organization wishes to be outdone by someone from the outside. Ooh, the Abyss Order has really dealt you a tough hand this time. <clears throat> what a sneaky little bunch those guys are. There is a way. But for it to work, I need some more information. Specifically, I need to decipher the obscured portions of the Abyss Order's war declaration. Obscured portions? You mean the bits Paimon can't read? It must be a cipher only understood by members of the Abyss Order, used to spread messages within the organization. That's what I'm wondering is, why would they send you a written message that only they can read? It's not simply a war declaration, but also a notification to their own. When you take a stand that makes you a hero to one party, you also become a villain to the other. And since I've been the Abyss Order's enemy for so long, they've made me the target around which they can rally their troops and unite their strengths. Wow! Seems like it takes a lot of brains to be a superhero, huh? I understand my enemy well, is all. As the saying goes, heroes and villains are two sides of the same coin. So what are we gonna do about the intel that's written in gibberish, then? How do we... un... gibberish... fi... it? Simple. When you don't understand something, you ask. I've already tracked down one of their strongholds. If you're interested, feel free to come along. Oh. Alright. So, we now have a little bit of a destination of where we're going to be going. And that's going to be to the Abyss Order's stronghold. Which, the location is right over there. At the Temple of the Lion. But. Whew, indigestion. We're going to have to take care of that in another episode. Because I'm all out of time for this one. So. In the next episode it will be part 3 of the Dark Knights chapter. In this little side story quest that we're doing. And we're going to see about dealing with this Abyss Order's uh, stronghold. Face to face, first hand, ourselves. With, of course, uh, Dear Luke helping us. So, we're looking forward to that. I hope that you guys are too. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel for all you new viewers. So you guys can stay you know, with, on tact with us, uh, with me and my viewers and my other subscribers. As always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye-bye, everyone. It's delicious.